everybody. So today we're going to have the last tasting of my rye IPA version one. Now this is a small batch, 1.25 gallons going into the carboy. Two pounds, one ounce of pale malt point, I'm sorry, 5.5 ounces of caramel, 5.5 ounces of rye malt, 3.7 ounces of flaked rye. For the boil, one hour boil, 0.28 ounces of Centennial at 60, 0.28 ounces of Centennial at 5, 0.28 ounces of Chinook at 5. Uh, for the yeast, this is using US05 yeast, so a clean yeast. Then for the dry hop, three days into fermentation, 0.24 ounces of Centennial, uh, 0.12 ounces of Chinook, then 0.12 ounces of Amarillo hops. Now. I, I was getting into spicy beers. I'm still into them. I do want to make some more, but I wanted to clear out this first seven batches uh, just to see what we get in here. Some of these are using different malts or adjunct malts in there, but this was bottled on 410, a little over four months old, almost actually going on five months old. 8.64% um, ABV. I did use that USO5 yeast just to be a clean yeast, just so we could get the flavors of the rye, um, maybe the Centennial, maybe the Chinook in there. Now Chinook is a spicy hop, it's supposed to be so that should add well to uh the rye malts are in there okay hiss not a big hiss not uh much of a um uh a smoke coming up there we go i'm gonna stop right there carbonation seems better in the bottle uh, most of the time I do listen to the hiss and look at how much smoke is coming up to see uh, what the maybe the carbonation level is like. Usually if you get a real light hiss and no smoke, carbonation is probably a little lower. Uh, kind of a translucent white brownish color head. What I do have, small medium bubbles, not even a quarter finger of head. Color burnt um, orange in color. It's a little lighter burnt orange down here, but I'm guessing that's just the glass. Uh, it really up here looks like a double IPA more than anything, but we are using um, the caramel, which is a uh, SRM 35, so I can see it being that color. It pretty much matches uh, what the Beersmith profile um, glass is. Uh, I can see bubbles coming up. This is an etched glass, but yeah, I can see the etched uh, bubbles coming up, then uh, some bigger bubbles around the side. Let's go ahead and smell. Definitely getting more of a spicy, bready rye, like that malt is really starting to take over or come out. So it's like a, yeah, a rye bread kind of smell, but there's some like citrus hop smell. Yeah, I would say like a rye bread with a little sweetness with some citrus in it, and that's about it. Let's go ahead and taste. Definitely getting that spiciness. Um, a little thicker than medium body. Uh, it drinks more like a double IPA being, what did I say, 8.64. You, It is a double IPA. Uh, it's got that multi sweet, multi sweetness in there, but that rye really comes through with that sweetness. Then at the back, it seems like the bitterness is pretty high. 62.6 um, .6 IBUs is what Beersmith said. Um, it's up there now that could be that spice with that bitterness is making it uh, feel bigger than it actually is I do I do get some citrus but big rye bitterness uh, sweet rye bitterness let's say yeah that that sweet rye up front you get a little bit of citrus in there that bitterness kicks in aftertaste is more of a spice sweet grain more than anything in there i almost 
I'm going to say grapefruit. There, there's some grapefruit in the aftertaste, like a very sweet grapefruit. I'm guessing that's uh, from the Centennial, all the Centennial that is used because this is dry hopped. Yeah, so the Centennial dry hop is bigger and there's more Centennial in the boil. But yeah, that, that grapefruit sweetness in the aftertaste along with that bitterness, so like a grapefruit rind bitterness um, is really there, but it's drinking more like a big double IPA with that sweet malt in there. Very, I would think this would be a very good fall beer. Uh, I do not watch the videos of the reviews prior, so I'll have to go back and look. Um, I do think, um, I wouldn't say this is on the downside, but if you're somebody that's more into those sweeter, syrupy, double IPAs, this is definitely one to let age four or five months um, and then drink it, especially on a cold day. Um, you know, somewhere around Halloween or something. Uh, yeah, definitely good for that. A summer beer though, uh, definitely not. I think as of right now, the body is way too thick and that syrupy quality, at least for me, leads into fall. Um, so I wouldn't want to drink this in the summer. But yeah, overall, it's good. I will have a side-by-side -side of all seven of these um, after I review each one individually. But yeah, I would say this is one I would make, yeah, probably around April-ish and just let it sit and uh, then drink it in the fall. April, May, June, maybe June and push it back until the end of October into November somewhere in there. Um, I think this would do well. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.